All right, Alan, we're on the second hole for the tournament, normally number five for the for the members here at Glen Abbey. And it, an early chance really for a golfer, I guess, to make or break their round. Absolutely. Every golfer is looking for a great start to the round. And number two is, is a par five. It's 527 yards. It demands a cut off the tee right about to the area where we are now. I'm seeing about 261 yards from the green here. Yeah, the average golfer, the average tour player will hit it here. The longer hitters will hit it another 30 or 40 yards. Um, it's, it's, it's a very good chance for them to get home in two um, and, and get a three on the card. But if most of them should be able to make a four. Um, the green is small. It has a lump in the middle. It makes it tough to get the golf ball close to the hole for a three. But they should be able to make a four. And I think most of the players will feel like that if they don't make a four here, that they've lost a shot to the field. This is normally the ninth hole here at Glen Abbey, but for the tournament, this is hole number six. And over the years, we've seen a lot of bogeys on this hole. What is it about this hole, par four, 458 yards, that makes it so difficult? Well, it was, as you mentioned, Rob, it's the length, 458 yards. It predominantly plays into the wind and uh, it's, it's very tight in the landing area. This is probably the most intimidating approach shot you'll see here at Glen Abbey. Very intimidating. You know, if the players, if they're standing where we are right now, have a, a very tough decision to make, uh, especially if it's into the wind. Uh, where that pin is today is, is where it most likely will be on Sunday of the event. And the green is not very deep there. From the front part of that green to the back is probably about 20 feet tops. So, you know, your line is probably going to be left of that bunker, right over to that collection area on the left, depending upon how good you're feeling about your swing. This is normally the second hole here at Glen Abbey, but for the tournament, this will be hole number nine. And from up here, you can really get a sense of why this hole has proven to be so difficult. It's, it's not a very deep green. It's only about 20 to 30 feet deep. This, this green is a little firmer than the other greens on our property, so it's a little tougher to hold. Uh, it's surrounded by sloped, long rough, protected by two very big bunkers. So middle of this green and a two putt, a par, is a great score. Here on the 11th tee at Glen Abbey and probably the most iconic tee shot on the golf course, we see 16 Mile Creek in the background and perhaps it's fitting because off this tee, it really does feel like you can hit the ball 16 miles. Absolutely, Rob. Uh, th this hole is a 452 yard hole. We're elevated 80 feet up in the air and when you hit that ball, it feels like it's going to take a minute or two to land on the ground. If they hit it down the right side into the bunker, they'll still be able to hit the ball on the green. Uh, it, when you flirt with the left side, you've got a big tree that's in your way. You've got very long rough. Even if you miss that tree down the left side, uh, you're still going to have trees that are, are 80 to 120 feet high protecting the left side of the green. So yeah, I, I've seen Greg Norman once hit the ball down quite far left of the tree and he had a wedge over a 120 foot tree to three feet but uh, 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 I, you don't see that type of thing happen anymore. Number 16 here at Glen Abbey. Uh, 16 is, is huge. In 1994 Nick Price was over on the left in the in the rough and uh, and I was standing on, over on that hill in 94 and he hit the absolute most beautiful two iron out of the rough. He was able to control the, the shape of the shot and the length of the shot and it rolled up to two or three feet and he uh, he went on to win the tournament. The player off the tee will hit it generally into this area where we're standing now and uh, they will definitely go for this pin. On Sunday that pin will most likely be just over the bunker in the front and it's very tough uh, with a long iron to get it below the flag. They will be above the flag and uh, it is very possible on Sunday to three putt that and uh, there have been players in the past that have three putted it and, and gone on to lose the event. Number 18 here at Glen Abbey. This is the second signature hole on the course, a par five. And we've seen so many great finishes here at the Abbey. What is it about the setup of this hole that sets it up for so much drama? Well, just it's the 18th hole. It's the 72nd hole of the event. It's a par five and it's uh, 528 yards, so, which means it's very reachable in two. Oh. And uh, I would expect someone to be standing right where we are now having to hit this shot to win the tournament. A little more pressure on them. <laughs> much more <laughs> and much more at stake.